What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another episode of... Come on! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, I improvised that. Uh, I didn't know what I was going to say until, like, a second into it. Um, anyway, welcome. Today I'm very, very excited. Um, this wasn't a planned video, obviously, because the new book cover has come out. Uh, it's not that big news, but it's pretty big news. This is the last book. This is the last, I guess, canon book. Um, remember, there is a 12th book, but it is a compilation of essentially stories that just didn't make it into the Fazbear Frights universe. So here we have Fazbear Frights 11, the prankster. Um, very, very cool cover. Hang on before we talk about that cover. Let's cover the subscribe button. Oh god, this video is already probably the worst video I've ever uploaded. Guys, we are so close to 10,000. I say this every single video and it's making me sick. Please, subscribe if you haven't. You can always unsubscribe if you don't like me. <laughs> this video is getting worse. You know what, I'm just gonna skip ahead because I'm sure you're all subscribed anyway uh, and you just heard this too many times from me. Let's talk about this dude here. Um, so, this guy looks like Sans, first of all. He's got, he's got the belly for it. He's got the, the nice uh, white shirt and, and the blue hoodie. Uh, he looks like Sans. <laughs> Ness, a lot of people have come up to me and said this is probably going to be a story that revolves a lot around the plot of FNAF 4. And personally, I can kind of see it. Now, there's a few issues with that, which I'm going to go over in a second. Um, but first of all, let's let's actually talk about how this cover looks very different to the others. Uh, a lot of the others just have, um, you know, an animatronic. Um, or, I mean, the cliffs was very different with kind of like a smaller, I guess, animatronic, a small toy uh, landing on the floor. Um, but this one is very different to me, I feel like, because it's an actual human, first of all. We, we have a human character there um, with a flashlight, shining it uh, toward the front of the book with this very, very weird, like, paralytic... Paralytic? Is that the right word? Paralytic? I don't know. That's not the right word. It can't be. A, a very nice background, essentially. Um, and it's one that reminded me um, a lot of of the minigame in FNAF VR Curse of Dreadbear, where you're going down the hall and there's these animatronics appearing through the doors and, and the windows and stuff. Um, it just reminded me of that. That's something to point out. Um, I know other people have been saying it looks like the Plush Trap minigame. Um, I can see it, but I don't think it's gonna have any relation to it. The only problem with I with this being like, like a FNAF 4 house or something is I can see an exit sign above a door. Um, now, that's very confusing to me. Um, I, w I will just say, why, why is there an exit door in a house? Um, I don't know. I don't know what this could be about. It seems like just because it's red behind, uh, it seems like because it looks like the plush trap door corridor or the corridor we go down in FNAF VR, it looks like this is going to be FNAF 4 themed. Who are the people in the back? That's what I wonder, because they look very slender, you know, like they, they don't look like animatronics we've seen before, but I feel like they are supposed to represent the nightmares. We haven't got a pure like FNAF 4 story yet. I know we've got stories that seem uh, a lot like FNAF 4. I guess Bunny Cool was very FNAF 4 -y. Um I think Blackbird kind of had some, some correlations with FNAF 4 too, but this one seems like it's going to be straight in there with we're in a bedroom and there's nightmares. Uh, we, we do need clarification on FNAF 4 the most, I think. I think that's the game we need the most clarification on. And I think that that is something that Scott knows. <laughs> Let's quickly talk about the title because The Prankster is a very weird title and one that a lot of people I know I know, I know, it's gonna connect to the bullies in FNAF 4. Is it actually gonna connect to the bullies in FNAF 4? Maybe. Um, I have seen a picture um, been sent to my Discord where there is the Chica bully 
in FNAF 4. Uh, and it's actually wearing the same type of, the same coloured clothing as this guy. Um, and it, it could, it, I mean, that's a very cool theory. That's a very cool theory. Um, it's very, very similar colours. But that gets me wondering, like, if he was wearing a red shirt, would people say it's the Bonnie? Uh, if he was wearing a green shirt, would people say it's the Freddy, you know? So I, I don't know if that's sufficient evidence, but it's very interesting to note. It seems like we're going to be following this character because he has a flashlight. Um, although, although, in Security Breach, we do see the night guard with a flashlight and we're not necessarily playing as her. <laughs> so, just saying. I'm actually really invested in what the plot of this one is going to be. I'm more invested in Friendly Face, to be honest, because that one seems terrifying and it's literally just a cat with a human face. <laughs> um, so, like, what is the plot of that going to be? But this one it seems like it's going to be very FNAF 4. Very FNAF 4. Um, hopefully, that's true. I really hope that this is a FNAF 4 story. Um, I really, really hope it. A few more things to point out before we end quickly, because this is supposed to be a very short video, but... I swear that the, the whole time this is supposed to be called The Prankster, when the cover just says prankster. Um, so I don't I don't I don't know what's going on there. Um, is it still a prankster or is it a prankster of a store? Like I don't know. It could be like metaphorical. Um, also, what is the prankster gonna be doing? Is the prankster the one behind all like the nightmares? Possibly. Is the prankster this guy and is this guy Michael Afton? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't... Maybe it could have correlations with Michael Afton. A lot of people have been saying that this is going to confirm that we play as Michael Afton in FNAF 4, which I think is kind of already confirmed in the logbook, but hey, a little bit more clarification um, won't go unharmed. You know, I, I don't, I don't want to say that this is Michael Afton. I don't want to say that this isn't Michael Afton. But I don't see enough right now. I, I don't see enough for it to be Michael Afton 100%. I think it's going to be a parallel to Michael Afton, um, possibly. But there you go. Uh, anyway, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this. If you have any thoughts about any of this, make sure that you comment below because I'm very interested to see what you think of it. Do you like the cover? <laughs> that's one thing. Do you like it? Uh, I really like it. Uh, and I'm very, this is going to be the last book in the series. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.